Hey guys, this is Eva, your talent development psychologist. It's great to see you. Um, I kind of hope that third time the charm and, uh, you know, after two uh, previous Facebook lives when I uh, had some technical glitches that this one will uh, be just right, but uh, it seems that, uh, you know, I just can't get my audio going. So that's a bit frustrating, but I hope it's uh, better now. So um, yeah, let me know if, uh, if everything's okay now. Um, so where was I? Well, uh, I want to talk about, you know, how to explore, how to discover your zone of genius or how to find your sweet spot. So, uh, you know, uh, during my program uh, for my clients, I guide them through four steps and one of them is focused on this. Um, you know, this phenomenon of uh, zone of genius or, or sweet spot, uh, you know, the moment where everything uh, kind of, you know, like clicks together, um, you know, it's here around, uh, you know, since ever. And uh, it's really good to know where that sweet spot is where you have it because uh, that's when you are the most productive. That's uh, when um, you are, you know, really excited. That's when you are really motivated. That's where you really you know, feel alive and your intrinsic motivation kicks in. Hey, David, uh, welcome. Uh, just give me a thumbs up if everything's okay. Um, so, um this concept of uh zone of genius was recently uh described by uh, an american hungarian uh, psychologist called uh mihaly chichen mihaly uh fun fact um if you study psychology you won't get your diploma unless you learn how to write his name um and uh you, you know, he described this uh, phenomenon as a feeling of, you know, like really being in the flow, like going with, with the current, like really being very focused, kind of, you know, even losing the sense of your time and, and, and space, but still uh, not losing your focus so it's something that's very powerful it's something that really makes you move but you still have this process under control you still know what's the next step and you still um have that feedback you know if you're going the right di direction or not and it's really connected to your intrinsic motivation it's it's kind of boosting boosting your drive and it's uh, something that if you experience it regularly really improves the overall quality of your life so it's something you really want to experience it's something you really want to have in your life um you know it's like it's it's something that connects you with your drive with your superpowers with your know Okay, it seems there was some uh, some technical glitch again. Um, so uh, let me know if everything is okay now and if we can proceed further. Um, so, um, you know, imagine this state of flow, like, um, you know, like a really fast going, current or like you know the feeling of riding a wave um so that's what it is um you know the opposite of it would be um 
you know, if you know, like an oil spills look like, right? So it's it's something very slowly moving. It, it's it's really toxic. It really doesn't look like something you want to be submerged in, right? So uh, being in the flow is the opposite of that. It's really very refreshing. It's um, it's keeping you uh, productive. It's keeping you alive. It's keeping you in a good mood. Um, so, you know, one of the ways how to know if you are in the flow is to regularly check in with yourself and, you know, ask yourself if you are really experiencing this feeling. You know, like very often if you get into flow, um, you kind of, you know, submerge, you go with the flow and then you are, you know, all of a sudden, um, you kind of, you know, emerge some, somewhere and, you know, you realize that you spent uh, doing something for maybe two hours, but it felt like 30 minutes. And uh, you're like, oh, what the heck? So it, it, it's two hours. It really, you know, didn't feel like, like it, right? Um, so that's one of one of uh, the signs that you've just experienced flow, right? Or, you know, even if you, if you work really hard on something, when you're done, you don't feel that exhausted. You are refreshed. You know, you feel like you could keep going. You feel like uh, you're ready for another task. So that's also a sign that uh, you've just experienced flow. Right, so one of the strategies you can you can take is you know keep a keep a journal or you know just make some side notes somewhere like and every time you experience this feeling of you know being very focused but with with a very clear mind and being refreshed and being motivated. You know, just just uh, make some notes. So just observe, right? What happened? You know, what kind of situation was that? You know, how, how was I actually operating? You know, just really just note all the aspects of their situation because you know, situation like this one tends to create this sense of this feeling of flow so it's really you know good to go after these situations and uh, you know focus on them kind of you know like a turn on some kind of flow radar and um, you know it's good to engage in situation like these because these are situations uh, where you are the most productive, the most refreshed, you know, you know, like you are on top of the mountain. So, um, you know, that's something you want to experience. Uh, so, if you want to, uh, you know, map uh, all your uh, tasks, and if you want to talk about uh, what gets you into this state of flow and you don't know where to start uh, you know there's nothing easier than uh, connect with me just send me a personal message or comment below or just schedule a free strategy session with me I'll put uh, the link uh, below this video so you can uh, you can just click on it and schedule a free session and we'll get together and um, you know, discover uh, and kind of pin down your uh, your flow uh, as well. Okay, so it was nice talking to you. Um, I hope you enjoy that, despite uh, the glitches. Uh, I have to work on my uh, tech uh, stuff, um, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.